Another bunker? Maybe. So, anywhere but the sand for Sean McCune. And you just never know. Well, it's a better pass at it. Got a terrific bounce. Check to the left. And that's okay, he can putt that one. Working ferociously with that gum. And maybe after this hole, things will taste a whole lot better. So first from the sand, it's Philo. And this is really, really awkward. Got to pick the club up very quickly. All in all, 10 out of 10 from there. Dreadful spot he was in. Excellent recovery, Stuttart. Bunker technique was good. Just a little firm. Also playing off a slight downslope. So, Chris Crow. Oh, it's all so easy for these players. It's just the speed of the greens at Sprouston. It makes it hard to get it absolutely stone dead. McCune has that opportunity with a putter in his hand. Well, you want to say pars on tap at the 17th, but all four with long putts. Stuttart, first of all, for his three. Very good attempt. So he'll drop back to level par. Crow's par attempt to remain one under and potentially lead with one hole to go. Crow. Oh, yes. <laughs> Top quality effort from Chris Crow. Red one. One to play. His caddy doing some sterling work as well, as they all have done in these hot conditions. Philo's par putt looks like this. Just a trickle down the hill, that's all. So he will drop back to level par and remain in second place. It'll be the same story for Stuttart. McCune. A little speedy, that one. Marker required. Bogey for Aaron Stuttart. So level par. There's one back with one hole to go. Maybe the chances of two Trilby Tour wins slipping away. McCune for the bogey, which he gets. And at plus two, he'll need a miracle out this final hole called Picture House. But it's a par five, and amazing things can happen on par fives with only two of these players getting a stroke. One's McCune, and one is Chris Crow. And we'll see the final denouement after the break. The Perfect Gentleman's Playground.
perfect gentleman's playground. One hole left to decide the Trilby Tour champion of Norfolk. And there's Gary Stuttart, father of Aaron. And Aaron just won back on the par five. So nowhere to hide here in the Trilby Tour. In the playoffs, you're introduced on every tee. Just to remind you where you are. Chris Croak. Very competent attempt there with the driver. Another bunker. One under par. Receiving a shot, par five. Stuttart. That's a belter and long. So he can reach in two. Jerry Philo. Yeah, very good indeed. See if it gets that firm first bounce, which it does. Brilliant. Who wants to play Sean McCune? He's got some act to follow now. Little fade shape, left to right in the air. Slightly softer landing than the, the knuckleball draw, but very good nonetheless. And quite a crowd following everybody here. All wanting young Aaron to win, of course, because this is his golf club, but he has work to do. Chris Crow, bunker, disaster. He does the important thing, he's got it out. And maybe he can reach the green in three. Maybe. Vilo having a smash at level par. And this one turning quite heavily from right to left. Draw bias on board. No harm done. Sean McCune, with his second, needs something spectacular. A little loss of balance there from Sean. And that one with the high right shoulder, it's a big banana daiquiri to the right. Problems for McCune. Chris Crow, his third, remember, bunkered, splashed out. Trying to reach the green in three if he can. Nice steady knocker. The man from Goodwood, you've got to hit it straight around Goodwood, I can tell you that for nothing. I have personal experience. Stuttart then, after the long tee shot. Bit of tree trouble, perhaps. See where this one finishes. Well, he's got it green high. And that's lying pretty nicely as well. Always a chance he could chip in for an eagle. And they're his people. That's what they want to see. Chris Crow, first of all, fourth shot. Just a little pitch forward, but it clips a leaf. And that's net three. He has a stroke on this par five. McKean's third at the par five. Needs some spectacular short game work here. Well, the line's very good, but it needs to grip now. Whoa, down, whoa. It won't. Didn't have a lot of luck. No, he did not have a lot of luck. <laughs> Sean, my boy. Have a nice day, though. Well, you have. You sort of had a day within a day, really. All very enjoyable. Philo's approach must be good. No stroke here for Jerry. A little unfortunate with that one. Didn't get that little bit of extra spin. So that one rolls through the green. Stuttart from hole high. Club face way open. Trying to cut this one up in the air, which he's done. Thinks he landed far too softly for the youngster. McCune's journey over these three holes continues. He's not going away quietly, is he? And that is that. But he will be at the final at Rockcliffe Hall, despite not quite making it through the playoff. But who's the winner going to be? Will it be Jerry Philo? Soft hands required here.
was much better than it looked. And in the end, Philo takes himself out the picture. And then it was between two. Who is going to be the champion of Norfolk? Chris Crow. He's played more strokes than Aaron Stuttart, but he has a stroke. This for a five net four. Up the green, taking the slope, get going. Great putt, great putt. Superb effort. So started the whole one under par, should finish it net one under par, which means that Stuttart has to hold this. Dad's watching, club members are watching, caddy's watching. Back and through, firm hit. Looks like it's just not to be for Aaron Stuttart for the second time in as many weeks. He will, of course, be appearing at Rockcliffe Hall because of his win in Wales. So close to being the first player ever to win two Trilby Tour events. But it's all about this man, Chris Crow, and he is the champion of Norfolk. Look at the slow-mo, Rocky Styley. Absolutely thrilled. Great celebration. Points to his caddy. We did it. The word we in golf, it's a, a small word, but a precious one. So there's just one qualifier left in the 2013 campaign. A last chance to qualify for the competitors, but as well as the final, the rest of us can still enjoy the Trilby 2s and two episodes of the match play competition. There's plenty more top amateur action still to come from the wonderful world of Trilby. Let's have a word with the over the moon winner, Chris Crow. Chris, how does it feel? Oh, best feeling in the world. In terms of golf, it's just phenomenal. When I turned up here, I honestly just thought, play steady, see what happens. Never, never dreamt I'd be standing here holding this. It's a, a real honour. Over the moon. We award the shot of the day to Stephen Quinn more out of pity than admiration. We've watched this putt on the seventh at least a dozen times and we still can't work out why it doesn't go in. There's mysterious forces at work, I tell you. Now from the perplexing to the pathetic, it's Rogue's Gallery. First up, the former champion of Norfolk, Ross Anthony, showing the kind of form that helped him lose his title. He may be in the far distance, but we spotted David Hughes getting ahead of himself here, driving on the 16th and landing on the 17th. Lloyd Yeoman attempts to correct his overhead shot on the 15th by underhitting his recovery. A cunning plan that failed in so many ways. Also in 15, Paul Tippins decides that bunkers are no fun and he'd rather play in the rough. Russell Burke here making a complete Russell of himself on the 17th. Useless Burke. And here's Bradley Milner showing admirable innovation, escaping a bunker by playing this shot over his own head. But even the heat haze couldn't hide Bradley this time, walloping his tee shot on 16 very accurately into the tee box on 18. You'll have to take our word for it, but this is Stephen Watts playing the Alan Titchmarsh role in the bushes on the 18th. He seems reluctant to show his face, which is understandable. And lastly, we're honoured to introduce an obvious descendant of the great Sir Barnes Wallace, Jordan Amner, with his own bouncing bomber. And as night falls, let's have a word with William. Just got it in again, didn't we? There was no, no time for, for another hole. Every week we do it, we just manage to just get it in. That last putt, the, 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 I'm not talking about the, the, the 12 inch up to that, but what was that, a 45 footer? It was a tough one to two put that and he did it. That's what won it. What a, what a great guy. 14 points he got last year at the Buckinghamshire. Comes back with a win. Many congratulations then to our new Norfolk champion, Chris Crow. A happy chap, there's no doubt about that. Next week, for the final qualifier of the season, the tour moves to Kings Hill for a sunbaked day searching for the champion of Kent. Until then, please peruse www.williamhunttrilbytour.com to keep up to date with all things Trilbian. Now we'll see you next week.
Thompson, apparently you've now been disqualified from the Trilby Tour. That's from Mr. Hamm. There's no apparently about it, you are out of the tournament. William Hunt Savile Row sponsors the Trilby Tour. The perfect gentleman's playground.